And here we are, Boom ID versus Alliance. I mean, two of the best looking teams of the tournament in general right now. That's a first blood on Earthshaker for sure. Uh oh, and yeah, he is getting run down. There's the stun. You see the move speed from the new Firefly. Six sticky napalm charges. He's gonna go for the nine. Let's see what he can do here. That's a lot of damage over time, and FBZ will pick it up. Boom ID looking good in that top lane right now. Gonna go for it. Just running him. There's just the TB out. I don't want to die, but Insania will get the lift. This should be a kill onto Jakiro. Furvian trying to help, but you're a level four Trout Ranger. You are. You might be the weakest hero on the map right now, and he's just gonna get chased down here. There is gonna be a TP in from the Sand King. Will they get it? The Quills get the kill, but there will be a stun by Sand King, and the creeps will bring it down. And they can just keep diving her, right? With, if you bring three heroes. And she's on top of the CS yeah, chart. That's so crazy. <laughs> that's uh -oh. insanely good. Stun comes in. They have three heroes down here. Boxy in a lot of trouble. The goo goes out. Furvian actually taking so Six much stacks. damage. Holy smokes! Wow. Blows up, and well, it's a one for one trade. They want to bring down this tower with the double damage Queen of Pain. Jokum, he's going to throw it out. Uh-oh. They're going to get the stun. Do we have dust? Do we have any detection? No, he's just sitting there. They're trying to find him. Ice Path goes down. Chicken in trouble. Well, Quaqua okay. had the ult ready, but didn't do the math correctly. The sentry goes down, yeah. Looks Dyer's like they will just get back. Dude, Boxy is so aggressive right there. He just goes in. Well, he's still alive. Oh, my goodness. The Queen of Pain ulti. Will it clean anyone up? Not quite yet. Batrider will grab when it will be Taiga. The two. Supports are going to try to help bring it down, but Koikva on the side just bashing down FBZ. Taiga next one to fall. Koikva will kill Kezcute as well. And the blink forward, will he get the kill? No, nice TP out there by the Batrider. Use the epicenter. Usually if uh, Sankin is your Dyer's only way to initiate, he goes in, yeah. blink stuns, and then re-engages with the epicenter. And here we go, bottom there is going to be a hold coming out on the Weaver. That's a tough kill. He's just trying to get away, and Sanya as well getting run down, though. Steals the stun, FBZ goes down, and Sanya's going to blast. Yokum, you're looking in a lot of trouble too. Had a stun in one, but couldn't get it off, and... Well, this bottom lane seems to be where all, all the action's at. Makoto trying to do some damage, but he doesn't have enough. He pops the one, but Koikva blows him up. 10 second BKBs. Even Briss Black is going for one. I like that choice, considering that he went for a dual scepter as the first item. Yeah, middle lane, they're going in. Yokum will get a stun. They get the pull. It's only on the five root. There is going to be Yules to hurt the Earthshaker in place, too. Madara's still here. There's going to be an ult on the backside. The Drow actually does dodge it, but uh oh. They're just right clicking. He's trying to kill the Bristleback. Bristleback front taking this Drow. A nice stun coming out from Yokum from the high ground. Furbian will finally go down to double kill. Two for two right now. And uh oh, Quake was in a lot of trouble. Does get the blink barely. They're going to look for the chase down, but I don't think they're going to be able to find her. Maybe the plasma field? No. Boxy just running in. He does not care. Uh oh, on the back side, there's Furbian. They're actually going to find one. It will be on the Taiga, but they're all here. Will Taiga drop first? Yes, he will go down. And now the Draw Ranger in trouble on the back lines. Will that be enough with that last right click? Not quite. He tries to turn around and fight. Furbian will go down, and Sanya's down too. Makoto's kind of by himself. Nice ice path on the back to stop the Weaver. In comes the Sand King. Doesn't get the stun though, and he just yules into the air. Uh oh. Madara though should be taken down, it looks like. Tries to get away. Will he make it? It's going to be close. Ice path doesn't hit. FBZ still chasing. Has some sticky napalm charges. Bugs go out. Just go on one. Sand King has a blink dagger ready. Won't be able to bring him down with the Orchid wearing off. They do go back into the Roche pit. All the ulties down now from Boom ID, it feels like. They oh, try to Bat Rider, you Scepter on him. He's going to try, and Madara will pick it up, and instead they'll just get the kill, but you got to go for it, right? It's one, it's one death, and if you get it, it's super worth it. So the tower will end up going down, and they defend their own tier two. They are still smoked up on two of them, though. They might look for something. He's going to run uphill. Whoa, FBZ once again scouts it out. And uh oh, here we go. Doing a lot of damage to Boxy. He gets in. Yule's going to go down. There's going to be the ice path. Only hits on the one. There's going to be a hold. Good ulti from Poikva bringing everyone down. And Sanya, though, will go down first. Madar, he just pops the BKB in Furvian. Well, I, see I don't think drow. that's going to work. Three, just three BKBs on top of her. That's when you know it's bad. They're going to continue to push forward. Makoto in a little bit of trouble here, trying to do any damage, but once again, you're going to go down as well. Look at how much damage he's doing, but it's not enough. Viscous Nasal Boot doesn't go through BKB, but still, Fever yeah. with that uh, extra move speed on her Shikuji. Yeah, you can see it already. And they blink forward for another one. There's going to be the Sheep Stick. Oh my goodness, that Sand King died in like three hits, it felt like. They know some things are going on. Look at this, this Weaver moves so damn quick. Oh, the smoke, it's under them. He's going to get the silence off. Ice Path will hit one. BKB popped by the Razor. going to try to get away. This will be a kill instantly on the Rubik, it looks like. 
does. And on the backside, they're looking for more. Koikva's actually hiding inside the trees. Macro Pyre goes down. The Weaver a little bit nervous. Koikva just right clicking, gets the hex. Makoto gets another kill on Taigi. He's just killing the back lines. Kezku will be the next one to fall. It looks like Weaver right clicking. Nice man to buy Drow. Drow's still alive. They get a hold That's down, a and it's a nice damage. play. There's the Weaver. Fervian does go down. It's an ulti from the Sand King. He's getting him. Will they be able to get the Queen of Pain? They sure will. Nice use of Atos. And here's what we see. But the Yules into the air. Oh, no. We'll make it out. And wow. They're going to find one. Bought back if they can grab this kill. Ice path. It looks like it. Kezku with a huge ice path. The BKBs there. One more right click. They have the vision to dust. Will it be their one right click? They're still looking. They're going. He needs one more right one click. More. Flame break misses. And well, I think we see why this talent's so good on level 25, but they continue to chase. Blink Dagger up on Batrider in two seconds. Sand King has it up in two seconds as well. They find him. There's going to be that. The bugs who have the stun. There's the kill. 1,008 gold. And so this Roche, this could be the big one. It will be scouted by Alliance that it's up. Madara is trying to counter some more. It gets the BKB up. Yules himself into the air. Madara just trying to right click. Wants to kill this Jakiro and should be able to. What quick fingers from the Weaver. And we'll see. That's what he goes for. Boxy moving out. They're actually a little bit nervous right now. There will be a stun. They're going to try to lock him down. Razor will get hexed up. There's a good pull away, though. That ult actually pushes him downhill. The Razor might be able to get away. He is disarmed. Furby and right clicking. Taiga will be the first one to die. They're going to look for Roche. They get a hold down on the Queen of Pain. Will the Queen of Pain die? No, gets the blink up the last second. And now into the air goes the Sand King. Makoto still just running. Right clicking over and over. The silence doesn't push him all the way down. Boxy trying to just kill Furby and Makoto goes down to Koikva as well. And oh, they That's turn it around. Back. They're, they're going to try to initiate middle lane. There's going to be a stun. Ty in a lot of trouble. Atos down. Does get the glimmer. Will he make it away? Pops the dust as well. He's going to make it. Double damage gets popped by Boxy as well. He's going to try to run in. There's going to be a hold. And FBZ, he gave away his lasso and gets lassoed in return. Yules into the air. Sand King in a lot of trouble. There's one of the Bloodthorns. That's and gem. See ya. Are pounding on his melee barracks, the ranged racks already at half Radiant HP. Sentry Ward will go down with that gem on the Earthshaker. And there's going to be a lift up. Will they be able to get away? Kezcute, uh oh. And Latrol, oh my goodness, instantly blows up. On the backside, they get a hex on the Razor. There's going to be another hex because Koikva pops that refresher shard. See you later, Razor. And Sanya still surviving. A lot of damage being done to the Bristleback, but it's a Bristleback it's being done. Silence taken off by the Lotus Orb. Madara trying to siege down that ranged barracks right now. And looks like they will finally get their first one. Here we go. There's going to be a jump, and it is Rantan again. A double four staff to the low ground. The Draw Ranger's in a lot of trouble. Goes down instant buyback. There's going to be an ulti coming from the Sand King. Didn't do too much damage. There's going to be a lasso from him coming out. They're trying to hold one in place. It is the Queen of Pain. Will she go down? She sure does. 500 gold. There's going to be another kill. It is going to be just on the Aegis. Can the Weaver get out of here? Boxy trying to help out as much as he can. On the backside, Insania gets the Sand King stun. And yep, there we go. There's going to be the kill on Insania. All of a sudden, Boom's turning around. Boxy in a lot of trouble as well. Stun from Yoakum, trying to chase for more. But now he gets turned on. Sand King dies instantly. And they're just Box, trying to get out. Go in. Taiga misses his ulti, but he locks down Drow, though. Does get it off. Is he going to be able to get away? There's no way. Goes down. Here's Makoto just trying to tank it up right there. Boxy does enough. Uh oh, this might be the end as we know. It is two buybacks, diebacks, and there's the GG used. A 52-minute game, but Alliance, they looked like they were in control of it for most of it. This gives you a little bit of both, I think. Yeah. Bat Rider. His Bat Rider is and definitely on he's point. He's got replay, but uh, they're still try laning on top. Yeah, they are, and it looks like Centaur actually he does something different. He just tries to block the creep wave back to his side. Try to roll away, and we'll see if the Fisher comes out. No, he throws the Fisher. Can he get in front of him? He does. Nicely done. This should be a first blood, and they do get it. Now OD used Astral once again. Yeah, then here we go, going on mid. Yep, there's going to be the Bulls. Puts him under. Doesn't have his save anymore. There's going to be a Fisher. It will only hit onto one, and Senya will get the kill. Probably want to know your Medusa armor. You don't mind. There's going to be another one. They get the roll. It's going to be on the Earthshaker. Level two can't do too much. Gets chased down. Oh, Makoto's playing so aggressive right now. And well, they find it. Here comes Kezku. This will be a pretty easy one with the ice path. They put it down and oh, does get hit, but it's pure damage, as you said. Will there be enough? Yes. Does get locked into the tower, but a good kill. Oh, Taiga smoked up. Oh, the roll is going to go. Will hit Makoto. Will kick down. Do we have a save? Yep. No, he actually puts it on that now. He might get bursted down. Yeah, from behind. Boxy comes. That's going to be a kill. FBZ in a little bit of trouble as well. Do we have another boulder? Yep, we do. Refresh it. He is tanky. He has a hood and a vanguard. I'm not sure you're bringing that guy down uh, until you have a little more damage. 
to be careful. It's all five heroes from the Radiant, four from the Dire, and Sanya might be getting left behind. No, it's actually the Batrider. They're going to try to roll down. It is going to be the Sven, but the Batrider might die. Yes, Makoto with the big ulti to go down. There's going to be a third, and wow, Boom ID turns this around. They're going to try Madar. Will he make it away? Ho -ho. Oh, barely. Going to Roche, but to just take it. Yeah. It feels like, honestly, they could just, well, top lane, hold on to that thought there. Look, he's trying to run away. They get the kick. Oh, my goodness. And Sanya goes down. Taiga goes down. Two shot right there. Oh, Jakiro sees them. Mikoto, four staff, has Hex ready, but quick oh fingers. Oh, my goodness. FBZ gets the stun right there from the low ground, and that's going to be a kill. Wow, what a play by him. That was, like, last second, too. Low ground to high ground gets the stomp. That's right. But like he has a TB, full day list too anyways, yeah, right? So, still. Uh oh, bottom lane, they're gonna go in, they're gonna find him, and there you go. This OD plus Earthshaker has been so good, and they're gonna chase for more, actually. They're looking. They don't really see anyone, but they're like, we're gonna find anyone we can. Here comes FBZ. Will he just blink into the base? He sure does. They actually find the Medusa. Do we have any more locked on? There's gonna be a stun from Sven. Buyback from Batrider. They're gonna try to get out. Taiga does get onto one. He kicks the center up hill. That's a pretty tough kill. Taiga just gets slaughtered by the Sven. They do get some hold down going. The Centaur might finally get brought down with that Eye of Scotty getting so slowed. Furby and just running it. And what an ulti by Yokomi drops in. Makoto as well. The Wombo combo comes out, and well, there's no buybacks. This is 25 minutes in. You're gonna lose a barracks, if not two. Yeah, you, as long if you always have a rack standing, you never know. Uh oh, but nice look at that. The four staff, staff in on the Medusa does get a good manta dodge, but the ice path goes down. They're gonna try to get the safe. FBZ on the backside gets a nice double stun. The Medusa still stunned, even though Oracle ulted. Roll away from Taya tries to get out. Medusa goes down. Taiga goes down. Ember Spirit is back, another Hex. Oh my goodness, this Hex. And look at the tip, tip before the kill. <laughs> and there's the good game. Wow. That Alliance Gambit game two is pretty convincing, but this one almost feels more convincing, right? And they end up with Terror. Speaking of Terror. This hero used to be countered by Troll before, like super hard. Meanwhile, this Undying, look at how aggressive he's playing. Tag Team is going to go out, but we will see Metamorphosis popped as well. Kez Q taking so much damage with that Tag Team. This looks to be a first blood. He does get a double decay off, gets some of that strength and HP back, and he goes for it and gets the first blood. We do see pings. It feels like most of the action is probably going to be at this bottom lane. And there it is. There is going to be the Ice Shards going out. Stun's going to fly as well. He does have the stick. Will they be able to hold him in place long enough? Furbian trying to run away. Reflection comes out at level 2, but still gets brought down. And this lane just feels like a disaster right now. Yeah, someone needs to buy him a TP. Uh-oh, and Shadow Shaman as well might go down. We have Boots on the Vengeful. We'll definitely run down, and Madara actually gets the kill. Oh my goodness, it's an absolute disaster down here for Boom. Re-nerf, right? Like, you just do it so quick. There's going to be Centaur. They're looking top. Doom goes out, and Sanya will get the stun, so they should be able to lock him down. Koik was going to run over as well. Static Link, level 2. Taiga actually dies. I'm really seeing too many smoke ganks. That's just that first Moonlight Shadow. There's going to be a smoke gank now, though, from the Razor, as well as Vengeful going up top. Uh-oh, and look who they find. It's Fervian. That is the real one. There's the Moonlight Shadow. Do we have any? Yep, we have a Sentry Ward. And this should be the kill. They try to get him out with that Centaur ulti. Koikfa actually will go down the backside. They will get a hold onto the Tusk. Swap goes out. Taiga's in a lot of trouble here. One more right click from anyone. They need it. FBZ gets it. A two-for-one trade. There's going to be Makoto getting Insania as well. And three-for-one. And there you go, Tier 2 Tower will go down. So Boom ID doing a good job. They are down middle lane. They jump in. Will they have enough? Yep, they got the lockdown. And see you later. Taiga gets brought down. And, and well, they're all just sitting up that hill. Oh, I wonder if they know there's the wave observer. of terror. Oh, and FBZ actually missed it. They're going to swap one downhill. There will be the Tombstone going down. They're going to try to bring it down immediately. Sorp goes out. There will be the Venge going down first. Tombstone goes down. There is going to be the Doom on the center. He's going to be in a lot of trouble. Koikva stealing so much damage. Hasn't even used his BKB yet. There's going to be a punch on the backside, Yoakum. He's just going to try to get away, but will be another kill here for Alliance. Yule's into the air. Who's going to take it? Will be Koikva. And oh, here we go. Yeah, there's going to be the Sunder. Madar's in a lot of trouble. He does have the Aegis, obviously. They are going to pop the Shrine. Boxy, BKB, just right-clicking the Marana, doing so much damage into the air. They go Koikva stealing all of it as well. Fervian goes down, and this game's looking all Alliance right now. Uh, the creep's trying. There we go. They get it. And they'll just back right out. Uh, who are they going to find? Obviously, the Marana might be kind of tough. Oh, they go for the tag team. Do we have ice shards that will trap in? There's going to be a snowball. Gets trapped And there. Will they go down? No. Leaps out again. Doesn't have Moonlight Shadow. Snakes go down. They actually block and control. Will swap him backwards. And now, uh-oh, the Venge is just kind of out of position here. Will go down. Boxy actually blinks in. It looks like Alliance doesn't really know if they want to go in or not. And they, they will back it up. 
BKB pop by Koifa just to TP out. Will make it. Will they find anyone on the backside? Ty getting chased by three zombies. That's a Same huge with the kill if they can get it. Yep, no Aegis. They go. Whirling Axes go off. Tons of evasion, but there's the Solar Crest. Will they be able to? They're trying to. Ty pops double team. It won't be enough. There goes the troll. There goes Ty. FBZ even survives, and it's a quick 2 0. Yeah, you can tell. FBZ, oh. They both broke each other. Smoke, he's going to blink for. He gets two of them right there for FBZ. He has the Crimson Guard. That's going to be an instant kill. He will get doomed afterwards, though. Won't be able to get his ulti. And uh oh, this TB is losing all of his damage. Does have the butterfly, though. Ooh, Ice Shards barely miss. And now a hold on the Razor with that Aether Lens. Still so much damage coming out. Will he be able to bring him down? No, gets the BKB off and runs uphill. Keskutes actually, he says, I'll, I'll go for a kill and ends up dying. Doom ID can't take this fight. They just need the meta. Meta is up in 40 seconds. Well, they're going in early, and there's going to be the Hex. It is going to be the Troll, because they just lock him down. FBZ actually missed the stun. What a snowball save. Boxy on the back lines finds Yoakum. Makoto's trying to leap away. Will he make it? He does leap away again. Sunder will come out. The first kill is going to be on Yoakum on that Shadow Shaman. They're chasing Furby, and should be the next one to fall. They're going to chase for more. FBZ has a blink up in one. He will make it away. And guess who's going right into Roche? It will be Madara. They will get Taiga on the back lines. And they're just going to go right in, though. You have the double damage rune bottle. If there's an arcane rune. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, Arrow, that'll slow down Roche. Hit the troll right in the head. But he will just turn around, obviously. He has a ton of status resistance. And here we go. Moonlight Shell goes down. Tombstone goes down. Snake goes down. We're going to have a big fight. He just wants to bring down that Roche. And I wonder who picked up everything. Looks like Troll picked up a lot. There's going to be Kez Q going down. They want to bring down another one. They do get out with that Centaur ultimate. Has a full Bariza on that TB. Has Boots of Travel as well. Oh, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. Oh, sorry. A Daedalus, my bad. And there's going to be an arrow flying through. Will miss. They're just going to go for the racks. That is possibly the last glyph. And they're going to blink forward. Here we go. There's going to be one Doom going out. He's going to refresh. There's another Doom going out. He has a refresh shard in his backpack. They're just going to push forward. The Marana doomed up. Can't really get away. Does get healed up. Solar Crested TB as well as Doom. But he doesn't care. He's just unloading on Boxy. Meanwhile, Kez Q will go down. That is a dieback. It is just their five. But they've lost both sets of racks as well. When you when you got a backpack battle, you know you're having a pretty good game and you're pretty rich. Arrow will fly through again, will miss. Hex goes out just to slow it down. Last melee barracks goes down. You got to take a fight here soon. Here it's going to be Mega Creep. They do get a shackle. They're going to try. Swap out's going to be there. They're looking. That's going to be the hold. Oh my goodness. Tanya goes down. Makoto's already dead. Has to instantly buy back. They ping onto Koikva, but he has the cheese still if they want to go on him. Reflection goes out. Only another one doom. doom. They want to take this fight. He's actually going to hit the stomp. Lincoln's goes out on him, but he's already doomed. Ice Shards barely miss. He's dead. Who is he? He's sitting in there in the fountain. It's going to be close. He's dead. One more thick. Oh, uh, barely lives, and now they're going to try to run away. He will survive, but Boxy kills FBZ. They're, they're trying to, like, TB, we need you, but he still has no HP. You just got to go all in on this next Roche fight, right? It's going to be so tough. Wait, they're rolling in. Uh-oh, he might have been caught out of position. FBZ will pop his ultimate. He is hexed the stomp from Boxy again. Perfectly placed. It's going to wear the time off, and look at that. Centaur goes down. What a play by Boxy. That's such a good game. There's going to be Yoakum. They're just going to run him down. There's no more buybacks. They're going to have one last stand with their th three heroes left, one of them being an undying. Not going to be a very fun fight for him. It's time to close out this game, Grant. Let's go in. He has the double damage. He has the Bloodthorn. Troll dealing about 600 damage hit. There's a blink forward. There's going to be the Doom but it is going to be Lincoln's off. They get the Doom with the Refresher, though. He's going to be studying the base, and I think the Creeps are just going to kill this. And, yep, good game called in Allies chat. They are going to glyph it up for now. They're going to continue to try to defend. Kez Q will just heal, and there's the good games. And Alliance 47k net worth lead. They win it. Their, their patient play style has definitely paid off. And